All right, you guys, just got home from taking the doggies to doggy daycare. Um, right now it is, what time is it? It's 8.25 and I need to leave probably in like an hour. I'm meeting up with my friend Megan at 10 to take some pictures for Instagram and to shoot a few campaigns that I have with brands. I typically organize like everything, like my outfits and everything like that, like at least the night before, but I didn't last night. I was just so tired, so I need to do all of that today and this is a whole mess but that's just kind of the plan for today so i know i get a lot of questions on like how i take my instagram pictures how i edit stuff like that so i'll show you guys in this vlog how i do that okay guys outfits are all picked out and i need to go ahead and start getting ready because i have to leave in like 30 minutes so i'm running a bit behind i just put on kind of like a base outfit so that i can easily like switch out lots of like jackets and shoes and accessories stuff like that to get different looks but i always like to start taking pictures in jeans because putting on jeans in the back of your car especially if they're like a little tighter is so hard to do and so uncomfortable so i always like just going in jeans i need to put some dry shampoo in this hair it is so greasy today i'm actually going to be trying the batiste waterless cleansing foam and i've never tried this before but it looks really interesting so hopefully it works well oh gosh wow hello oh boy that's gonna get all over oh gosh i'm so scared this is gonna make my hair like even more greasy looking okay well i kind of feel like that <laughs> just made my hair almost like more oily I'm scared that was gonna happen i'm gonna go ahead and just go in with my good old tried and true batiste dry shampoo this stuff for sure i know works <laughs> so okay i'm gonna let that just sit in my hair while i do my makeup kind of like soak up all the oils and then i will massage it in and then kind of like style my hair um, okay, I need to do makeup. picked up this Kristen S um, signature finishing hairspray from Target the other day and I am obsessed with it. It works so well. So with my curls, as you guys can see, they're like very, very curly right now. I like to hairspray them first and then after the hairspray dries, what I do, and I just kind of like brush out the waves with a brush like really gently okay so this is just kind of what it ends up looking like i love the way that this t3 um curler makes my hair look it works so well okay i'm going to grab my stuff and finish my coffee wow that is cold okay it is 9 47 i am running late okay grab some sunglasses I'll put these these I'll do those ones and I'll do these. Okay, we'll take these three. Okay, Bubs, I love you. Mommy will be right back. I'll see you later. Can I have a kiss? Mwah! I love you so much. Bye. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put sunglasses in my car. I need to load everything up. My car is a mess.
Okay, I just grabbed an extra camera battery because this camera is probably gonna die halfway through. Um, and then I just grabbed a protein bar as well. I typically don't eat breakfast until like noon anyways. So I'm not really hungry yet. And I probably won't be hungry until after we're finished shooting. But the last thing I want is to have like low blood sugar or to like get like hangry or anything like that while I'm like in the middle of trying to shoot, so. Okay, so one thing that I do for my pictures is I actually just take a video and I always do it at 4K 60 frames per second. So that way you can just hit the video button and then it just goes and you can just screenshot it it makes it so much easier than taking a bunch of pictures and like missing poses or little like candid moments so definitely a little tip there for you okay just finished shooting this outfit i'm gonna go ahead and change i always change in like my back seat which thankfully i have super tinted windows so no one can even see and it works out Gonna go ahead and try to find another location and change outfits. All right, you guys, we just finished taking pictures. My hair is like all frizzy from switching so many outfits. So right now it's 12.15, so I'm gonna go run in. I just stopped by this um, place that has like acai bowls and juices and everything like that. I'm really craving something like nice and like healthy and refreshing. So I'm gonna go run in and grab one of those. I need to find my mask is what I need to find. Where did I put that? I don't know why this mask is like so crooked this is what i get for buying like a two dollar mask off etsy it's like it just hangs it's so weird it's too big too okay whatever all my other masks are in the wash so i just have to like put up with this janky one All right, got the bowl. I'm honestly going to just eat it in my car because I'm so hungry. Um, so I just got a original acai bowl. I think it just has like pineapples, blueberries, strawberries, granola, and then I just subbed the honey for agave because I don't eat honey. This looks so yummy. I haven't had an acai bowl in forever, so I'm so excited for this. That's so yummy. All right, well, I'm not gonna sit here and make you guys listen to me chew, so I'm gonna go ahead finish eating this and then I will see you guys when I get home. Okay guys, I just got home and I was looking through the videos, like screenshotting the pictures I wanted to do and I found this beaut right here, if it focuses, hang on, there we go, look at that. So just a friendly reminder that everything you see on like Instagram and social media is like people's good angles and the good pictures and you don't see all the outtakes because there are like hundreds of these. <laughs> so just remember that everyone has their really ugly pictures but anyways, I was dying laughing at that picture and I had like so many more too, it's great. So I'm just going through all the videos and screenshotting what I like. Like here's an example of one of the videos we did. So I'll just like go through there and then screenshot like the poses and like anything that I like. And, and then I'll go ahead and just edit them from there. Um, so I'll put a little screen recording up here so that you guys can see how I edit a picture really quickly. I don't put like filters or anything like that over my photos. I really just like to like adjust the colors. So all I'll do is I'll just import the picture. And then once you have that, I like to go into the light and just really adjust it as needed. Um, so like this one, I'm gonna take the brightness down a little bit because it was super sunny today. And I'm gonna up the contrast to make my blacks pop. Play around with the highlight. I'm gonna take the highlight down a little bit. And I don't do the same things to every single picture. I think a lot of people like will buy a preset pack or something and then just slap it on every photo and they're confused why it doesn't look good. I personally don't like doing that. I've done that in the past. Um, but I mean, every single picture has like different lighting and stuff like that that you need to like adjust. So I personally like just doing it this way. Um, I have more control over it and they end up like looking better afterwards. So I'm gonna up the whites a little bit, like seven-ish. And then I'm gonna take down the black. So when you take down the blacks, if you can see, I take it all the way up, it brightens it, but then whenever you take it down, it like makes them darker. Um, so it just kind of like makes the blacks pop. And then the real magic happens when you go into this little color wheel up here where it says mix under color. And I like to go to the orange and then I take the luminance down just a little bit because it makes you look a little bit more tan. Don't go down too far, otherwise you're gonna start looking crazy. Um, and then I'll bump the saturation up a little bit. 
And the thing that I do to my pictures that makes the biggest difference is I go into the yellow and I take the yellow saturation almost all the way down so that completely like takes out any like weird yellow tones. I don't really like like beiges and stuff like that in my feet. I want it to be like a very like white, black, gray, like more cool toned. Um, so I take almost all of the yellow out. I did negative 73. Um, and then the blues you really just have to play around with because sometimes the lighting is a bit more blue. So if you like take it all the way out like this one, then it just looks like you almost have like a black and white picture and it doesn't look good. Um, so sometimes I'll leave a little bit of blues in there. And then I don't really touch like the purples or the pinks at all. Anyway, so yeah, there's kind of like a little before and after. So that's pretty much all I do for my pictures. It's super simple. Um, I always adjust those things to where like, you know, the amount of, you know, contrast I might put on one is different or, you know, however. But the staple things that I always do with my pictures to make them very cool toned is I always take out those yellows. That's like the biggest thing that I tell people that I do. Um, if they're kind of wanting to like edit their pictures like I do mine. So anyway, so yeah, that's how I edit my pictures. I know I get so many questions from you guys asking how I edit them. So I figured I would just include it in a video. I'm going to start editing the first half of this vlog so that I don't get too like overwhelmed trying to edit it tonight and then get it uploaded. And then I need to kind of just like tidy up the house. I need to like hang up everything from my car. And then I have a few work emails from my manager that I need to catch up on. And yeah, so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. Hey guys, just finished doing some work. Now I am going to make my second cup of coffee for the day. It's almost four, so I probably shouldn't be drinking coffee, but honestly, I have no energy. And with Vlogmas, I'm like filming, editing, and uploading all in the same day. So as soon as I finish filming this, I have to like quickly turn it around and editing typically takes like two to three hours. So I have to like do that double time and then get it uploaded. So, so I definitely have a lot that I need to get done. So I'm going to make a quick cup of coffee, which side note, but I just checked and my Keurig that I always use this one down here that you guys always see me use is actually, um, still on sale for black Friday slash cyber Monday. So if you guys are looking for a good one. It makes um, cappuccinos, lattes, everything like that. So if you guys are looking for a good one, 10 out of 10 recommend to pick this one up. I love it. I use it every single day. Anyways, but I know you guys always ask me where my coffee maker is from. So I'll link it down below if you guys wanna go check that out. Okay, guys. Oh, hi, Kai. Are you blocking my video? Could you move? Yeah, you. Thanks. Don't knock it over with your tail. Okay. Okay, so I know I haven't gotten a chance to really talk to you guys about this yet. I know I did all my Instagram stories earlier this morning, but I'm going to be doing a bunch of giveaways throughout December. I'm going to be doing one every single week. Um, sorry, my like slippers are falling off, but I have a bunch of fun brands I'm partnering up with. I have Bondi Boost, Princess Polly, T3 Micro. Um, I'm giving away a $50 Sephora gift card. I'm giving away a purse, the one that I showed in my Amazon video that you guys always see me wear. Um, and then I have some other really, really great giveaways as well. So make sure that you guys are subscribed to me on YouTube and you're following me on Instagram because I will be sometimes posting the giveaways on Instagram and then sometimes posting on YouTube, but I won't always announce them on both platforms. So make sure that you guys are following both so that you don't miss any. So for the first giveaway, I'm actually really excited about this one. I actually still have everything like wrapped up for you guys. One of you guys will be winning the next gen styling set from T3 Micro and this is valued at $820 worth of product. So I'm really excited for this. But the first thing in the set is a straightener. And what's really cool about T3 Micro's products is they have something called Heat ID. So it actually like you can put in whether your hair is like color treated or not or like if you have coarse or like fine hair, you have thick hair, like curly hair, wavy hair, and it'll customize the settings specifically to your hair to do like what's best for your hair. Um, and it does an amazing job, phenomenal. It's just like, I love them so much. So first thing is the straightener. And the next one is the T3 Curl ID. And this is the curling iron that I used this morning to do my hair. So you guys saw like, it's so easy to do. It gives you amazing, beautiful um, curls, waves. I mean, you can do so much with it. To whoever gets this, I'm so sorry about my poor like rewrapping skills. I tried. <laughs> um, and then the last thing in the set is actually a blow dryer. And this is just what this one looks like. It has a bunch of cool settings. So that is everything that is in this first giveaway. Oh, 
He's cute. Hello. Oh, he has a cute doggy too. Anywho, moving along. So to enter for this giveaway, all you guys have to do is The winner will be picked on Saturday, December 6th. So make sure that you guys enter. And yeah, super excited for this giveaway. Okay, I need to leave in like 30-ish minutes to go pick up Harper from Doggy Daycare. So I think now I'm going to go ahead and tidy up this whole thing because this is a hot mess. Like I feel like anytime I show my office in a vlog, it's just like an absolute disaster. I'm a really messy person. I mean, like you guys know that by now if you watch my vlogs. I'm a very messy person. I'm very good at making messes, but I hate messes. So it's like a vicious cycle of having a mess and then me being stressed out about the mess. So we're gonna go ahead and clean it up and then we'll go get Harper. I wonder if I can balance this on the windowsill. Let's see, my, Ooh, would you look at that? The tripod that I have suddenly decided that it's like no longer going to work properly and it's gonna be like completely slanted. So if you guys see my camera that's like not leveled, that's why I'm ordering a new one. But anyways, I guess we will be using a windowsill for now. Okay, cue the time lapse. guys got all the clothes picked up and cleaned up off the floor I can actually see my floor again it's magical now me and this little dude down here are gonna go pick up Harper it makes me so sad how sad he gets whenever she leaves I wish he could go to doggy daycare too but but that's okay Kai do you want to go get Harper do you want to go get Harper do you want to go get Harper Roni you wanna go get Harper? You do? Let's go get Harper. Who is it, guys? Harper home? Okay guys, just got back from picking this one up from Doggy Daycare. They pulled up the camera as soon as I got there and she was like out playing with a little like great Pyrenees puppy. It was the cutest thing. See, were you having so much fun today? Did you get to play with other puppies? Yeah, so, here you go. Okay. It always makes me happy to know that she's having a good day at doggy daycare. Um, right now it is about like 6.30 ish. So I'm going to go ahead and heat up some broccoli pesto pasta for dinner. It's one of my favorite meals. And I made a whole bunch of it yesterday. And then for the rest of the night, I'm just going to be editing this vlog, getting it uploaded for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap the vlog up here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.